One cool little Easter egg on the title screen. If you press A by itself, you'll get kind of a blue halo effect. And if you press B by itself, it's a yellowish kind of aura around the, the title. So it's a cool little Easter egg. We got a whole bunch of floating decapitated heads floating out in the void of space. How morbid. Hey, I'm Patch on Alice. This is Tune Gamer 23 and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. So, in the last part, we got this game started and we got our very first grand star and here we are at the Comet Observatory. We got our spin attack. Our signature spin attack. Spin. And we've met the little chubby, cute Luma star creatures. And also the lovely Rosalina in her debut game. Look. You should go to the terrace first. Please rescue the power stars in the galaxies you see there. Okay. You'll do. The power stars are our friends. I implore you, please help them. I don't really know if the Dark Luma is kind of like the grandmother of Lumas or something like that, but whatever. This is one of the many domes on this observatory. We call it the Terrace. You don't say. Okay, if you need a rest, press plus or minus. Choose quit to save your progress and take a rest. Okay, so this is basically the menu screen. But there's no reason. Alright, what's inside the terrace? Welcome! This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here we can gaze upon distant galaxies. What if Luma transforms into a star, pole star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your star cursor at the pole star and press A. Uh, hang on a sec. <laughs> Sorry, my mother wanted something. Uh, Kind of had to cut out at the worst possible moment, right as the blue luma was transforming into a pole star. Alright, so yeah, you just have that glove icon and just tap A. When it's... You know, pull Mario into its gravity field. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent the distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you will be able to travel. Right, well obviously this is the only one that can be accessible right now. Okay, good egg galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Will do. Alright. 3, 2, 1. Last off to our first galaxy. Alrighty. Very first mission, Dino Piranha. Let's go to infinity and beyond. We'll crack an egg and eat it. Uh, okay, that wasn't very right. Really, that didn't sound as very very heroic as I thought as I thought it would. But anyway, so yeah, you can even. You even have the cursor over certain objects like butterflies, they'll spit out star bits as well. Here we got those uh, extraterrestrial cousins of the Goombas. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Beautiful. He sticks the landing perfectly. As usual. Alright. Let's see what's on the underside of this planet. Okay, so it's... So the upper side is beautiful and flourishing with plant life. But the underbelly, on the other hand, is a... It's kind of a dump. It's a barren wasteland full of bare trees with nothing of substance. Except some some star bits and other goodies. I was actually so OCD at one point that I just could not leave this planet without uh, having every last comet. There's a certain number of star bit comets that'll come in and just split off into star bits. But anyway, long story short, I just had to collect them all. Even though it was completely unnecessary. I was that OCD as a kid, and honestly, I would say I'm still OCD as an adult. But thankfully, I'm not that OCD. <laughs> so I don't want to bore you folks. Okay, let's see what's down the orange pipe. Alright, so, just basically, uh, weird, multicolored block brick room in, uh, in a deep void of some kind. It's just kind of like space-time matter or something, dark matter. Uh, I'm no Stephen Hawking, so I'm... <laughs> I won't question what that stuff is. Alright, question coin. Follow the musical notes. Play that classical underground theme from the Super... from the Nintendo Entertainment System days. Which was honestly before my time, but... But that doesn't mean I can't enjoy it as an adult. Alright. In we go. Once again. Up the other side. Alright. If you get tired and want to return to the observatory, press minus or plus and select return to the observatory. But you can't bring back any star bits you picked up, so be careful. Alrighty. Alright, anyone home? Gone. For a long time. Need to get in? Use the pipe on the other side. Wait a m wait a minute, was that room we were just in just the interior of this? Then what was all that inky black stuff on the outside? Was that I want I wouldn't think too hardly about it, but it's a possibility that Bowser Jr. is kind of still using that paintbrush from Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Lucky shot. Alrighty. See what this little guy has to say. To pick up star bits scattered across around the galaxies, touch them with your star cruiser. Collect 50 to get a one up, and it really wouldn't hurt to store some up. Now point your remote at the screen and collect as many star bits as you can. Bound the star bits with your star cruiser, Mario. So how do you like that? This. This game was actually using emojis. Come to think of it, at the in the same year as the is when the iPhone was introduced. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's, I don't think that's a coincidence. Let's, let's see. Ah, a 
that there was something out here on this twisty, warped walkway. Ah, the good old long jump. It's kind of a... Sh it's a real pity that they didn't have it in sunshine, but I guess with, when you had Flood, it, there was no need of it. My friends are ahead! Hurry! Alright, swing shots, and watch! To, uh... Peanut planetoid. Peanut-shaped planetoid. Covered in muck. If you can't hurt, grab a coin to patch yourself up. Pick up a coin and restore some life. Alright, so we got huge boulders with the uh, hollow geode formations inside. Does that mean that these have thunder eggs in them? <laughs> I mean, I just finished Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, so... Nah, probably not. Oh, ow. Okay, well, if you spin at just the right... and just the right sweet spot... Oh! Huh. Which is a lot easier said than done. So we can actually break these bad boys for some star bits. Alright, so yeah, just aim for the red, sparkly center. I think those are jelly-filled boulders, probably. Okay. So, yeah. Easy lives for Star Bits. Ah, yes. Okay. Alright. Beautiful currency based mana. Nothing like it. Okay. Perfectly timed with the music, I might add. That launch was... Okay, another sign to read. What do you have? Grab a Sproutle Vine and shake the Weemote to twirl up it. Sproutle Vine, eh? Alright. All right, so what are these little? Okay, get off me! Get off me! Okay, so they're basically like ticks or uh, leeches. All right, more star bits. More of those beautiful glittering beauties. No offense to the coins, obviously. I still think that coins are glittering beauties in their own unique way. Alright. And. Alright. Okay, don't. Oh, I'm. Don't have to hit them all. Just slam with these rubber plants, I guess. I don't really know these these bulb rubber bulbs are just sitting there, but if you spin attack them, they'll just launch themselves. Just obliterate anything that passes by. Don't let them hit you, or else you'll spill your star bits. Just like Sonic spills his rings when he gets hurt. Okay, so... Yeah, I kind of made a huge mistake by just... 
almost getting myself knocked over the edge, but fortunately, I didn't. Alright. KO! Let's see where this other vine will take me if this, these little mutants will stop sucking my brains. I should have known. It's it looks bright and colorful, but it's just the same as every other sci-fi movie. All these little, all these little extraterrestrial demons just want to suck your brains. Ooh, what's this? There seems to be an extra area over yonder. Well, let's take a look. I'm feeling adventurous. Okay. Ah, here we go. Alright. See what's down this pipe. Ooh, secret course. Okay, just like with uh, Grand Star, just flip those switches until all of them are yellow. And blue question marks to yellow exclamation points. Exclamation marks. Okay, what do we get for that? Just basically another... Just a launch back to the planet, I guess. Oh, okay. Oop. What do we have here? Cre invisible creature in the sand. Oh, it's a money bag enemy from the N64 days. Alright. It's raining star bits. Hallelujah. Okay, so yeah, there's just that second or two of uh, respawn time before you can actually before you can actually spin again. So yeah, I was just kind of shaking my remote rapidly. So cool, you can actually see the streams of the flight path with, when you take those launch stars as well. Alright, beautiful! It's no wonder that Mario was invited to the Olympics with Sonic. Alright, you're last. Oop. I thought there might have been something on the other side. Okay! Cool beans. Alright, here we go, once again. Got those star bits. Every last one of them, okay. And we stick the landing right on a giant egg with a club tail. And based on my observation, it seems to have the same elastic properties of those bulb plants on that one planetoid. So let's give it a smacker. And breaks out of the eggshell. It's Dino Piranha, bitches! The distant ancestor of Petey Piranha by the looks of it. The prehistoric ancestor of Petey Piranha. Banished to the void, empty void of space. And boy, have we pissed him off big time. Down, boy. Down. Okay. Hey, hold up. Uh. 
curse you and your and your primitive ways. Your primitive actions. You're too fast for me. But I'm more agile. Alright. what Bowser should say, because he's going to be playing by Jack Black. And behold, our first genuine power star! It sparkles and shimmers and shines in delights. I must have it. Right after we see what these glittering beauties and the this Earth-like planetoid have to offer. Alright. Come to Papa. Alright. Beautiful. Very first Power Star. You got a star, Dino Piranha, Good Egg Galaxy. And high score, 34 coins. Okay, so yeah, uh, in certain levels, you can actually get a maximum... They, they actually keep the score of the coins as just kind of like a high score. There's no 100 coins and a star type of routine in this game. No star bit. Those crystals are star bits. Tell as they are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. In your controller at the screen and point your icon at them, at them to pick them up. Once you have them, shoot them by aiming with the star icon and pressing B. Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some star bits. Okay. Your pointer at Lumet, I think, is her name. I I don't really remember. Well, whatever. Okay, so aim and shoot. That's the ticket. Yum! Delicious! Oh, thank you. Yes. Tasty! Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I'm sure Star Bits will be a big help on your adventure. Okay. Okay, well, just one more. One more for good measure. Okay. So, why stop here? I think we've got enough time for one more Power Star. We return! You know, early in development, I heard rumors that they were actually plan originally planned to call this Eggplant Galaxy, which honestly sounds more fitting, now that I think about it. But, that's besides the point. Okay, Mission 2, A Snack of Cosmic Proportions. Okay, in the middle of... Fittingly enough, a uh, star-shaped planetoid. And we'll return to that epic score, which is composed by a beautiful orchestra, and I would not be shocked in the least if they said they were inspired by John Williams, because this seriously... It seriously has some pretty... Obvious homages to Star Wars. 
Come to think of it, it's, it's probably not that big of a surprise why they chose Chris Pratt to be Mario. <laughs> That's right, Star-Lord, baby. I used to love that candy as a kid. I haven't had it in ages. Alright. So no one star on the roof. But perhaps there's something out on the twisty pathway that we we explored last time. Okay, is there anything else? I was kind of trying to go for the maximum coin score, but that's probably just a waste of time at this point. Oh, well, let's just keep going. Or... I guess we can just... Okay, I'm not gonna go for the... the, no the notes this time. I'm just gonna go for the coins in the corners. Oh, come on. Okay. Bullseye. Eh, come on. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna skip the big coin and not go for the extra life. Okay, now let's try and nail that. Okay, so. I've got a hungry friend up ahead. You don't mind sharing your snacks, do you? Okay, full stars galore. Okay, beautiful. Let's use their... Use their magic to... To appear on a pear-shaped planetoid. Okay. Okay, just bop those Goombas, just like old times. Okay. For those sparkling beauties for the road. And what's this? You can use the bulb plant to obliterate those spiky plants. Okay, don't forget these up here. Okay. 
Okie dokie. I think that'll do it for this one. Just giving this place the once over. Alright. Fast off. Okay, so yeah, there's another star in mid flight for that one if you feel like you want to skip over this one. Okay, so we're on that sucker ball shaped planet. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna obviously avoid more of those beautiful boulders with the sweet spots. With the with the crystal filled centers. I know they're dangerous, but they're so beautiful to look at. And so valuable. And chock full of candy. Okay. Star Ahoy! Okay, so... Actually, now that I think about it, Mario with his arms stretched out was a giant... was foreshadowing big time right at the intro to this game. Okay. Okay. Good on you. Okay, so Yoshi egg shaped plantoid, but sadly no Yoshis. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there, there really aren't any Yoshis in this game, but fortunately, that the sequel fixes that. We won't be seeing Yoshi until Super Mario Galaxy 2, but patience is a virtue. And you! Yeah, you! Can you taste these star bits? Can you give me a bunch of star bits? I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform! I'm famished! I need 100 star bits to curb big hunger pains! Oh, hang on a sec. I'm gonna call. Okay, false alarm was just another sales call. Just, just a rebel call. Seems like they're getting worse and worse every year. Alright. So hungry! Yeah. Okay. Oh, good lord. Oh, jeez. Wow, guys. Okay. Jeez. Whoa. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! Okay. And he explodes. Into another planet! A new planet is, was born! Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty certain that gave birth to a lot of uh, feeding fetish pictures on DeviantArt. I do, I do not, do not want. But, anyway, that's not the end of it. Okay, so we could go to that new planetoid, or we could just go on another round trip. And go for more glorious goodies. Honestly, I'm just kind of going for the stars in mid-flight now. Curse my OCD. It's really 
It really works against me sometimes. And just wastes a bit of everyone's time. Okay. Just gotta... Just gotta get it out of my system. Just to get all the... Just to say I tried every last launch star. Okay. Should be one left, and we should be golden, pony boy. And sadly, it was right where the new new planet was right by the new planet. Okay. Well. Okay, so it was the pair, the soccer ball planet, and then the Yoshi egg planet. So we'll use the next launch star to bypass the soccer ball planet. All right, gorgeous. All right, pink star, take me away to some place fantastical and magical. Yeah, you can actually flatten these. Oh, wait! Oh, dang it. I was actually wanting to go for the maximum coin score, but I guess I'll... I've wasted enough time, so... Ahoy. Gotta get some of that green stuff. Oh, oh, not that green stuff. center we have uh, capsule shaped planets which honestly it kind of looks like one of the meds I, I take every night all right now we gotta find the opening we just found it Right, but not before getting those coins. Honestly, won't be getting the maximum, but whatever. If I can get close to it, I'll be happy. Okay, so. Alright, inverse gravity. <laughs> this gimmick is obviously... Just it's it's not bad, but I guess with the game in space, it's to be expected. Ooh, <laughs> wasn't even trying that time. Okay, so I'm making my way to the top. I won't worry about that life. I'm wasting this one away just trying to be rich. And for what? Just a high score? Okay! Blast out of the capsule! And past the... Wait a minute, were, were those... Uh... 
Are those palm trees? Yeah, they are palm trees. Okay, I guess we'll be visiting them later. Okay, so, we got the star right in the middle, but we try to go for it. The gravity field kind of throws you, out, throws you off. Okay. Ah, and when you're at certain angles, the controls, the, the controls get all backwards. Okay. So yeah, I think I think if I remember correctly, the maximum in this course was 45 coins. But obviously, I'm just gonna just get the star and get this part over with. Stretch this part out for long enough. There. Okay. Okay, second power star. If you don't count the grand star. Okay. Marvelous. Snack of cosmic proportions. Good egg galaxy. And I'll probably... Go back to that other. Go, go back to that mission and get the high score off screen, but. Well done, Brave Explorer. You discovered a new galaxy. Collecting power stars will expand our range of vision. Perhaps to eventually include the enemy base. Okay, so. Save. Save at every opportunity. I learned that the hard way on multiple occasions. Well, I do believe that's a pretty hearty second part. Got a couple of power stars, we met some cosmic entities along the way, and we even took down PD Piranha's long distance prehistoric ancestor by the looks of it. Good stuff. Alright, we'll continue on our journey in the next part. Maybe even take a gander at that new galaxy that appeared. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and if you would leave a comment and or like, that would be most appreciated. Until next time on Super Mario Galaxy, this is Gamer 23 signing out. And the wallpaper in here is really something else. What do you think that castle silhouette might be? Well... I think later on in the game, we'll actually get a little dive into Rosalina's backstory, so just you wait. She's, she's more than just a pre another pretty face for the Mario franchise. She has actually got more depth than you think.